At Utah's Nine Mile Canyon, breathtaking views like this one are everywhere. In this arid environment of cliffs and rocks, there are also thousands of ancient carvings known as petroglyphs. As a result, the area has become known as the world's longest art gallery. Jim Lindsay is the guide at Utah's Natural History Museum. There's a lot of uh, bighorn sheep on this one. It might be what they call a shadow calendar, which basically they use the circular rings to determine what time of the year. Ancient cultures etched the petroglyphs in remote places around the world, but never as many in such a large area. Jim and his group of tourists share admiration and curiosity, like many archaeologists. Sharik Lavinia came from Paris. We discovered one of the best places in the United States where you can see Indian petroglyphs. Nine Mile Canyon in eastern Utah is more than 60 kilometers long. Between 1000 and 1250 A.D., the canyon was occupied by the Fremont Indians who left evidence of farming and hunting together with images painted on rocks called pictographs, like these, as well as thousands of petroglyphs. Then the Fremont disappeared. Anthropologist Pam Miller is president of the Nine Mile Canyon Coalition. The organization studies and protects the canyon. There are a lot of theories out there. I think the most mysterious part is what happened to them around 1250 AD. You know, what happened to the Fremont Indians? Because we lose them in the archaeological record. Miller says until today, archaeologists have documented only about 1,000 rock images but they estimate there are more than 10,000 in the canyon. The petroglyphs depict animals and events, like this great hunt panel. Others include buffaloes and longhorn sheep, which are no longer in the region. Some see abstract forms of deities and demons and even messages. We really don't know what they mean. Because we don't have any of their descendants to say our tradition is, that this symbol meant something. Miller says religious groups like the Mormons as well as the Ute and Hopi tribes have claimed connections to the region. Some people see visitors from outer space in the petroglyphs with aliens wearing antennas like in the family panel. Duncan Metcalf is curator of archaeology at the Utah Museum of Natural History. The difficulty about rock art always is that if you get 10 people looking at it, you'll get 10 different interpretations of it. In 2004, the National Trust for Historic Preservation declared Nine Mile Canyon one of America's most endangered places. It's a patchwork of private and public land. Vandals use this petroglyph as a gun target. Private owners have written over images, like this one called Rasmussen Sight. Natural gas reserves found in the canyon have brought increased traffic and industrial activity, posing the greatest threat. Steve Block of the Southern Utah Wilderness Alliance says Nine Mile Canyon is an outdoor museum that is being destroyed. You can still find standing rock art towers from thousands of years ago that have withstood the test of time but really aren't going to withstand the pressures of natural gas development. Jim Lindsay says the petroglyphs are in danger. I predicted that we only have about maybe 10, 15, 20 years before they could be so damaged it would be difficult to, to see any of them. The public debate over the extraction of natural gas in the middle of a historic landmark is expected to continue for years to come. For producer Zulima Palacio, I'm Barry Wood, VOA News.